Hello audience. In this video I'm going to repair the exhaust system on this car. Now ever since I've owned this the exhaust has made this kind of harmonic noise. It's not very loud but lately it's been at the right frequency to hurt my ears so I need to do something about it. I think the muffler is just blown out and some of the mounts are broken so I'm going to repair all that while keeping the budget as low as I can. Well, to start with, this mount back here is broken, not doing anything. The muffler's got a few holes rusted through it, so it's probably in pretty bad shape. This mount is holding, but it looks like it's about to snap at any moment. The rest of it, it's not the greatest, but it looks usable, so I'm just going to leave it. Now, here's the parts that I bought so far. This is a cheap muffler I got off Amazon. I got this one because the outside diameter is the same as the original. I'll mention in the description below exactly what it is. The outlets are two and a half inches, but internally it steps down to about one and a half. So I'm guessing this is probably right for my application. I got a couple of adapters from AutoZone to step it down to the factory sizes. Also, a new piece of inch and three quarter to make the tailpipe, same diameter as the original. And a few universal mounts to attach it all. The new muffler is quite a bit longer than the original, and there's not much room under the car, so I have to trim down the outlets and the adapters so it'll all fit. And now I have the new assembly mocked up. Now this mount, I reuse the old bracket. The mount at the back is holding it at an angle because I couldn't figure out how to do it any other way, which is not ideal, but since it was working just fine with a broken mount, I think this will work. The tailpipe, I already cut to length, so it sticks out about as far as the original did. My goal was to try to make it look all original from the outside, which it kind of does, so I'm satisfied with that. And now, welding the whole mess together. Now ideally there should be a removable clamp somewhere in here, but it was all welded together as one piece originally, so that's my excuse. Now I started welding the tailpipe on and discovered it's actually galvanized, which it's not good to heat that stuff up and weld it. So I've got it tacked on a little bit. That should be good enough. I'm just going to leave it. All right, let's see how it runs. Well, it is noticeably a little quieter choke all the way off. Yeah, that's quite noticeably quieter. Also, there's not as much harmonic noise in here, either. Now, you may be hearing a slight whining noise. That's the planet gears in the transmission, because click it and drive, and it goes away, which is perfectly normal. But what's neat is, the engine is so quiet I can actually hear the gears spinning now.
Well, that made a huge difference. I can actually drive it now. Now, I was hoping to get the noise level about where it was when it was new, which, I don't know, I wasn't around at the time, but I assume they were pretty quiet. And it's pretty much that now. So, that's it for this video. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.